what's up what's up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Aisha and this is where we talk about health from the top of the head to the soles of the feet and today y'all I got five things that I've learned in almost five years of having these awesome locks all right let's get into it first of all one I have learned that even though this is my natural hair sometimes my hair actually aches now I don't know about y'all okay but when I need a retie the way I know not only from the calendar days but I know when these little hairs up here start to hurt a little bit right it's like every little strand of hair starts to feel something and they don't like it it's like hmm we're not as tight knit as we once were. So we don't like it. So we're going to let you know we don't like it. And I start to feel it almost immediately. It is like amazing. Like right now, y'all, and I don't ever recommend this. And this is actually the first time this ever happened to me in almost five years. No, hold on. Wait a minute. We're not talking about pandemic here because that year I had no, well, I had a lactation, but I was not ready to go back into close spaces with anybody. So I did my locks myself and the longest I went was eight weeks. We are at eight weeks right now. And that is because I could, I had to reschedule, which I never do. I never, y'all, I do not like reschedule. I had to reschedule to get my hair at a date that works for me because all of a sudden that day didn't work. So I'm eight weeks in, I am like, my hair is so detached. <laughs> Now, nothing's popping off or anything like that. It's just the new growth. It's just annoying, okay? It is annoying, and it hurts, and I'm like, please, just take away this, right? So, I can't wait to see her. So, number one is when my hair needs to be tied, my head gets really sensitive. Scalp get really sensitive. Just like when you first get braids done and there's kind of a tightness to it, that's what it feels like, which is so bizarre. I would think that that would be more so when I got it retightened, but nah, y'all, it don't like it. Number two, things that I've learned, that I've experienced, that just have happened over the five years is that my hair still doesn't like color y'all it just does not like to be lightened at all like it turns funky it doesn't want to and maybe because i haven't given it a good true let's do this in phases go but my hair like dark color y'all just put some black on it i actually found a color okay y'all here we go because i believe that if i'm putting color on top of my hair it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be 50 dollar color from the salon it can be three dollar box color okay it never harms my hair there's never an issue and that is since the beginning of time so what i get is just my literally it's cost three dollars and i get like three boxes at a time because that's how much hair color i actually need and i probably do it now on average twice a year okay where I take it and I put it in my hair. Now, I have switched colors because I used to do blue-black. I love some dread black hair, y'all. I can't get enough of it. I love it. But now, there is a brown-black that's really, really dark. So it's not black-black, right? It's really, really dark. But the color doesn't run when I sweat, y'all. So exciting, okay? So that basically means if you girls, you gals, you men folk, everybody out there have ever color your hair like much darker and you rinse your hair out, you get as much of the dye out as possible, right? But sometimes there's still some lingering, especially we have locks, we get stuff trapped in there all the time. But usually it takes like a couple of washes to get the hair to a point where it's not gonna run anymore. With locks, my hair needs to take a while, and I have to plan out what I'm going to wear, lots of dark colors, whatnot, because then when my hair runs, you can't tell, or it doesn't stain my clothing or stain my headbands, because y'all, I sweat on the sweater when I work out, which is six times, oh, six days a week, not six times a week, it's more than six times, it's six days a week, then my hair is sweaty, so I need some help. Um, but it doesn't run with the blue or with the brown black. Oh, so exciting. Okay. So that is number two. Another thing, number three, just five things over these almost five years is that I have appreciated my time so 
much more like I have little people and two of which I have to do their hair consistently because one of my children has locks which is flipping amazing okay so I don't have to worry about that head but the other heads I do and I'm like okay and two different hair textures like they both came from me why couldn't they be just the same hair I don't know two different hair textures I have to treat it differently so we got a whole day to wash you know rinse condition blow dry not both the heads just one but one hair is almost to their butts so you can almost imagine how much hair that is to do and you know when I say I appreciate this hair I do because it's one less hair to do but also it's less of a headache like I get up and go I recently went to Jamaica I traveled to Europe Mexico wherever I go you know what I bring with me I was gonna take it out I bring my hair tie I bring one of these little mamas right here that's it that's all I bring I need a hair tie and now I will say this when I need a retie I do like to slick my hair down a little bit y'all can see that so I bring me a little gel a little scarf always a bonnet always a bonnet satin silk whatever it is get you a bonnet get you a scarf whatever it's gonna hold up all this stuff y'all because the longer your hair gets the more lint that gets in it so that brings me to number four the lint the lint ladies when your hair is short the lint monster is not out to get you as soon as it gets longer it's gonna come and get you so be prepared things you can do to be prepared make sure to continuously wash your hair right don't wear things that have a lot of cotton or I would say rolled cotton or cotton that sheds or anything that sheds a lot when you wear your hair down because all your hair is gonna do is rub on that back, rub dub dub, rub dub dub, and it's gonna rub into some nice little lint balls, okay? Also, this is a side note, and this is what I've heard, I've never tried and I never will. But a lot of people like to detox their locks. My personal thoughts, if you're washing your hair enough, I don't understand why you need to detox your hair. I do not understand. Now, if you never wash your hair, and then you gotta detox your hair like twice a year. I get that. But other than that, I've never detoxed. I never will detox. I can honestly say that unless something real, real bad gets in my hair. And if that's the case, I probably just cut them off. But when people have detoxed their hair, the lint, it pulls the lint. Whatever lint you collect inside your lock, it pulls it to the surface. And a lot of times it's really, really, really hard to get it all out. So it literally looks like you have speckled locks everywhere. And I'm talking like from the root down, which for me, I don't have lint all the way up here. I have lint in the back of my head, literally where my hair will rub on a sweater or a shirt or whatnot. There is, that is where my lint is. It's nowhere else. So y'all, this is my, this is my crowd to you. If you are doing or thinking about getting a detox or doing a detox on your locks, just be very careful. And if you do want to get one done, I would say go and get it done by somebody who understands how to do it well, because y'all, it's scary out there. I had one lady come up to me, okay? And she was like, oh my gosh, I love your locks. I just detox my hair. Is the lint pad? And y'all, I never met this lady a day in my life. And I wanted to be like, no, it's good. But I was like, ma'am, I can't lie to you. This, this, this is not okay. And she was like, I know. Y'all, we had a whole moment. Okay. I gave her my lactician number. She was just like, my lactician even said, do not detox your locks just wash them on a regular basis okay because it will pull that stuff to the surface and it is the devil trying to get out y'all it is so hard to try to get all it out imagine having 500 locks and it just pulled every last bit of lint to the surface and you gotta pluck that stuff out or you gotta brush it out or all these kind of methods people talk about i'm like dude that's doing the most okay like it is so hard and it does not look good now if it does happen to you don't worry there's hope and it's in a form of brown black of blue black of black black <laughs> even brown dark brown dye your hair 
you can dye it and it'll cover that sucker right on up. Now that's up to you because maybe you don't want to put color in your hair. And if you don't, try some henna. Try the henna because sometimes you just can't get it all out, y'all. You just cannot. And if it's going to bother you, if it's going to drive you mad versus cutting your locks, I would highly recommend covering it with lovely dye. Number five. Y'all, I have loved my locks. I my, I have truly loved them. They are so, like, just wonderfully awesome right now. Look at, look at that ponytail. This is a ponytail that I put on my pictures board, right? I still have the picture of the lady that I'm like, I want her ponytail, right? And this is it. This, mm, it's just, it's giving, okay? It is wonderful, and I love it. And number five is that, there were a lot of naysayers. There were a lot of people disappointed that I did it. It was very interesting going through that journey. Now, it wasn't so much that I'm like, man, I really can't do this. It was just like, it was different. No one really knew anybody in my circle who had them and they were successful or, you know, they looked nice or they could style them, blah, blah, blah. And so I was the first and it has been a remarkable, remarkable journey so if you are thinking about locks you're thinking about micro locks sister locks traditional locks whatever it is write down your why and let that be strong enough to to keep out the naysayers because y'all it is a lifestyle change but oh gosh it is so much good and i'm telling you this right now your hair is right here on youtube if these locks go i'm gonna have itty bitty itty bitty afro <laughs> teeny bitty afro TWA, which I've had before, and I, it's cute too now. It is easy and it's cute and it's curly and beautiful. But for right now, we're gonna keep these locks. All right, y'all, tell me about your journey. What have you learned over the last year, two years, three, four, five, 20? <sighs> y'all, if my locks get down to my booty or down to my knees, y'all, what am I saying? It would never get that long. I will cut the things off so fast. But for y'all who are 20 years who want locks, as your booty, good riddance to you, okay? Good riddance to you. But what has your journey looked like? What have you learned? What have you loved? What haven't you loved? What is something you're like, I really didn't expect this? Y'all, there's some things out there. We can talk about that another time. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. And bye-bye.